they are paying also the price. You know, they thought they will do this, uh, but they think their oil is still in the ground and it's okay. Okay, and uh, but I think they uh, uh, they will feel the the punch very soon. You know, and they'll start uh, trying to find a solution. You know. Did they overplay their hand? No, I think it was calculated. I think they, they knew that this is going to happen and they still wanted to do it because they think by killing a competitor, the price will uh, rise beyond the 50 or $60. And, uh, so, and I, I actually believe that in, a, in, in, let's say, 18 months from now, the, the, the oil will hit $100. You want to know why? Why? Because now that the shell industry is, uh, will vanish for at least one year and two years, and the startup uh, is going to be difficult because banks are going to be very reluctant to finance them back because they know that they're very vulnerable because the cost structure is different than normal oil, the traditional oil. And uh, now, given traditional oil, many of the U.S. Uh, facilities have closed down. So it means that production has to be stopped completely to cut the, their costs and their losses. So. The world is growing anyhow, even with this recession. So suddenly when the demand is still there and it's coming and like that, and they want oil, it will not be there because most of these people are shut down. So the the offering will be less than the, that the need, the asking, and then the price will go back very high. You know? So it was a smart move, do you think, on the part of the Saudis? On the long term, yes. On the long term, yes. Would you put money there? Because in the past you've said no. Money where? In the kingdom. I know. I, I'm very happy of investing more in my country now. My country now has a lot of promising uh, uh, opportunities, and uh, they are. Uh, the country now has changed. The bureaucracy has come completely down. I'm quite welcomed in my country. People uh, like me and help me. And uh, why, uh, but what about in in Saudi Arabia? Would you put money in Saudi Arabia? No, as I said, it's not, nothing against Saudi Arabia. I'm just like, uh, prefer to put my money in my country, you know.